Look at this old dinosaur. We were just cruising along in the Argo, of course. We got a Coring 1066 Scooper Ho. This thing is super neat. I just hopped up here to start the video, so we'll have a quick little look at this thing. It's in really nice shape. Looks like it's been sitting out in the sticks here for 10, 15 years. I see that pin's coming out of the tracks. That's uh, always a good time. Seat's nice and comfy. We've even got uh, a nice winter coat there. Rain jacket. Winter coveralls? Oh, we even got winter coveralls in here. Nice. She was running the, the good old Marvel, I see. A couple of uh, spare teeth for the bucket. That one's just patched up a little bit. That's, uh, that's fine. Now these big old core rings, I believe, usually had Detroits in them. There's uh, another core ring up the creek. I believe it's a little smaller than this one. Oh yeah. The 1066 plates are still on it. That's amazing. Oh yeah, you know it. What do we got? Oh, she's a 12. Should be a 1271, I believe. Holy cow. What a peach. Yeah. 761 hours. Hmm. I'm sure that rolled over. Nice duct tape on the air cleaner. That's uh, nice. What a sweetheart of an engine, though. You can see the old Detroit green coming through on parts. Hopefully that squeaking is uh, trees and not a porcupine in here. You can see all kinds of quills covering this thing. Where we were camped last night, we could hear the uh, porcupine nibbling on trees. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's steps all the way around. Big hydraulic tank. Man, that's a big engine. What a sweetheart. Dual air cleaners. No turbo on this one. Or turbos, I guess, since it's 12. Would have had duals if it had them at all. That's a heck of a hydraulic pump right there. Got air cylinders everywhere. All kinds of neat stuff. Good old minor repairs. There you can see she's not a little machine. Hopefully that fire extinguisher wasn't uh, the reason this thing got parked. Some heckin' big chains under here. She's uh, had a few uh, issues in her day, I would say.
Oh yeah, you can see how it's all kinds of patched up on the end of that. Boom right there. And these old mining machines took a pounding. That whole plate is, they added a whole nother plate to uh, strengthen it. That's a lot of, uh, a lot of welding. Huh. This pin must have tried to come out a few times. Oops, same thing over here. <laughs> uh, greasy miner repairs. Oh, we got, there's a bolt over that one down there to keep that one in. And then just a piece of steel over here. This bucket's been plated over a few times. What a machine. If I get time, I'll show you guys the other old coring that's out here. It's way up the creek where we came from, actually. But, uh, dang, this thing is super neat. What an old giant. Would be neat to revive this thing, but, uh, well, maybe someday. Well, I did the right thing and climbed way up here. The bucket's right there. And, uh, oh yeah. She's had, uh, boy, this thing's got some battle scars in it. That one goes halfway through this front knuckle. There's an old repair down there because it's got the orange paint over it. Holy cow. And we can see this end of this first boom is all kinds of patched together. Greasy. Let me see if I can get right up there and show you guys up there. Well, they really liked welding. I can tell you that much. This guy has all kinds of scabbed back on here, and then all the bolts are welded on. God, this cylinder has this new end welded onto it. That's nothing too surprising. I'll bet the other end's all welded up too. Hey, yep. What did I tell you? This hydraulic cylinder has seen some miles on it. You can see they welded up the threaded ends of the bolt too. They didn't just weld up the heads of those bolts over there. Greasy. This hydraulic line's been scabbed back together. These two main caps broke off at one point. This one's, pl they're both plated over another time. All kinds of greasy weld down in here. And then you can see there's a fresh crack right through it. Boy, if this machine could talk, I'll bet she's got some hours on her. Back looking at the Detroit again. I just can't let go. This thing is so neat. Let's see if she's got... Uh... Holy cow, that looks pretty fresh even. Way over full, though. What a sweetheart of a machine. I heard a bee buzzing out of that five gallon bucket there. I could see there's a bunch of dead ones there. So, uh, well, let's just say I won't be kicking that bucket. <laughs>